everybody. I'm Ted Ancher. I'm the director of numismatics here at Apmex, and today I have a returning guest with me, Mike Garofalo. And one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, what is the difference between an ungraded coin and a graded coin? So, what is the difference? Well, Ted, um, this is something that is relatively new in, in coin collecting. You know, coin collecting became popular in the 1850s in this country, and uh, having coins uh, that were graded by an independent third party really came about in the early 1970s. Anax uh, was the very first company, and that was a service actually of the American Numismatic Association. That's why it's called Anax. Um, so they were really the first ones, and what they did is they, for fee, they looked at your coin assigned a grade to it, took a black and white photograph of it, and sent you the coin and the photograph back. Well, in the early 1980s, um, a number of coin dealers got together and said, there has to be a little bit better way of doing this. And uh, they formed a company called PCGS, which is the Professional Coin Grading Service. And what PCGS did and what they do today still, um, some 40 plus years later, is they, um, for a fee, will independently look at your coin, assign a grade to it, and seal it in a sonic um, uh, holder that will protect it from light, air, heat, all, all kinds of things. Um, but they, uh, it's not one um, dealer looking at your coins. The coins are uh, graded by consensus. So two or three graders will look at your coin and they will determine what the grade is by consensus. At least two of them have to agree on the grade. And if uh, the two graders don't agree on the grade, then they'll call in somebody called the finalizer. Uh, PCGS came out in 1986, and a year or so later, another company came about um, to give them a little competition as Chevy needed Ford to be their competitors. Uh, PCGS has a company called NGC, that's Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, and NGC does the exact same thing that PCGS does. PCGS has a clear holder, NGC has a white holder. Um, the, but what they do is, is very, very similar. They both grade coins by consensus for, um, uh, for you. You pay a fee to them for it. And their fee is based on the value of, of the coin and how quickly you want that coin returned to you. So if you're a dealer and you need your coins back in a hurry because that's the inventory that you want to sell, you pay a higher fee to have those coins up higher in the uh, order of, of coins that are going to be graded by them. And um, they don't have any... Uh, dog in the fight, as they say. So whether they grade a coin at one grade or a different grade is almost irrelevant to, to them. And that's why it's independent third-party grading. Now, the advantage of that for um, a dealer or for a collector is you're buying a coin that everybody kind of agrees on the grade of it. Now, they've graded uh, 80 million, 100 million coins between the two services over the last 40 years. And are there some mistakes out there? Of course. There, there are coins that are a little too liberally graded or a little too conservatively graded. That, that's going to happen. It's, grading is not done by computer. It's done by, by people. You know, you might ask the question, well, why isn't it done by computer? A computer would always be consistent. And didn't they try that back in the late 80s or early 90s? In, in, in 1990, I was at uh, the, the fun show in Florida where they said, um, we have a new company called CompuGrade, and all of your coins are going to be graded by uh, computers. And another dealer and I who were standing there looked at each other and just shook our heads and said, can't happen. A computer can tell you where a mark is on a coin, how severe that mark is, how many of those marks there are, but how does it know the intangible things like luster or um, toning? It's those intangible factors that you and I take for granted when we look at a coin are very, very difficult to uh, program into a computer because you look at something a little differently than I do. That's what makes us be able to buy and sell coins back and forth to one another. So um, for computer grading, 
Um, it's good for certain things, but it's not the, the complete solution, which is why even today, with all the technology that we have, coins are still graded by human beings primarily. You know, and technology comes in and it plays an important role in it. Um, the reason that the PCGS and NGC are so successful is those coins now can be traded online on a sight unseen basis and there are thousands of, of dealers all across the country who are making bids because they need a particular coin graded by a particular service in a particular grade and they don't even need to see the coin before they buy it. So that, that's one of the beauties of it. An advantage in having your coins graded is um, well, here, there's several. One is the coin before it gets graded is authenticated, so you know it's genuine. Two, you know it's not doctored and hasn't been played with in any way. It has natural surfaces to it. Um, uh, you know, another thing is it's sonically sealed in, in a holder, so if you could break the coin out of the holder if you wanted to, but then you voided the, the warranty uh, of the grade. But you don't have to take my word for it, or a collector doesn't have to take my word or yours for a grade of a particular coin. So uh, you probably asked the question, well, why aren't all coins graded then? Well, the reason that they're not all graded you're, is... You're doing my job for me, Mike. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> the reason, Ted, as you know, is it doesn't make sense to grade all, all of the coins. A coin that's worth $50, if it's going to cost you between $20 and $150 to get it graded, what benefit is it for a $20 coin or a $50 coin or even a $100 coin? There's very little benefit to it on, on that end. Plus, if you're a dealer, as you certainly well know, and as Atmax knows, you send in coins to be graded, well, it ties up your inventory. You can't sell those things. So there's pluses and minuses to, to grading coins, but I've always told collectors and investors, if you're not good at grading, buy coins that are already graded for you and buy them from a dealer who will stand behind those coins and the ungraded coins that they would sell you, somebody like Atmex. And that's really w what you want to do. You want to have trust in knowing what you're, what you're buying. But having your coins, especially your key coins, your more expensive coins, um, uh, graded by PCGS or NGC r really makes sense. And I would really strongly encourage people, only use those two grading services. There, there used to be a lot of grading services in the 70s and the 80s when, this, when grading was just becoming popular, and a lot of them have gone away. There's still a handful of them now, but those are the only two that have consistent grading year after year and have the market to support those grades. Sure. So thank you again for joining us. I uh, hope you join us next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.